When removing a specimen from a drawer or unit tray, brace your hand either on the edge or on the inside of the drawer, away from the other specimens to lift the pin out. Dried insect specimens are very fragile and are mounted to ensure they are preserved well and show the different parts of the insect. The four main ways that dried specimens are mounted are by pinning them directly through the body using an entomological pin. Smaller specimens may be pinned with a minuten pin to a stage, such as a pith or foam, and then the stage is mounted to a pin. Small specimens glued to the tip of a card point mounted on a pin. Or sometimes specimens are glued directly on a card mounted on a pin. Working with specimens in the collection can be problematic due to a variety of reasons. Some of the most common issues that you will encounter when handling specimens include handling a small specimen near plastic as sometimes the static charge created by the plastic may damage the specimen by removing wings and other appendages. A specimen may loosen and spin on the pin, causing potential damage to itself and adjacent specimens. An insect mounted on pith or foam may loosen, or the pith foam itself can be loose and spin on the pin. Sometimes minute pins can protrude down through the pith, so care must be taken when the label is returned to the main pin that the minute pin doesn't push into the label. Insects that are point or card mounted may have glue deterioration, which may result in the specimen falling off the mount. Old pins made of brass and steel are often corroded, which may cause them to either break in half or cause damage to the specimen. The heads of old pins can also break off, so care must be taken when removing them from the drawer. Corroded brass pins are often recognized from the green copper oxide evident around the specimen and the labels on the pin. Damaged specimens from copper oxide can explode or break in half. There may be a node of corroded material on the pin which may cause the label to become fixed. Use forceps to slowly and carefully push the label over the nodule. When you are replacing a copper oxide affected pin, use the forceps below the label and guide the top of the pin with your fingers. Narrow gauge pins are sometimes used for direct pinning of small insects but they bend very easily and may flick when released after pinning. When a specimen is pinned at too high and the pin has to be handled by its head, then it can lead to damage being done to the specimen. When a specimen is pinned at too low, it may cause the label to damage the specimen.